Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn about the first operation on linked list that is inserting a data into the linked list. So in the last video we saw a brief introduction of linked list so it's composed of a node where the first part is data, second part is uh, the pointer to the next node. So this was the basic structure of uh, linked list. So, so when we insert data so uh, to start with I said that whenever we are given a linked list we are given a reference to the first node which we call head node so earlier we don't have any node so head is pointing to nil so suppose I am asked to insert I want to insert 5 into a linked list of integers so first step is to create a node I created a node store 5 in the data section and in the next section we will make it point to the earlier head so head was pointing to nil so its next is null and make the head point to this newly created node so now head is pointing to 5 and its next is pointing to null I again want to insert suppose 10 now I will create another node store 10 here make its next point to the earlier node that is whatever head is pointing to make its next point to that and then make this head point to newly created node so after two insertions what we will get we will get head head is pointing to 10 10 is pointing to 5 and 5 is pointing to nil so here you note that I am inserting node in the beginning so that's why when I insert node in the beginning the head has to be updated because head is pointing to the first element so now this the last element that we inserted is the first element so we moved head from earlier it was pointing to 5 so we moved it to this new data and its next point to earlier head we could have also inserted in the end in that case either you start from head and iterate till the end and then put the node there or keep another pointer like head keep a reference to last node and name it tail in that case uh, make the tail point to the new node and the next of previous node point to this node but by default uh, we will assume that we are inserting the beginning and uh, these operations are order one because it takes constant time we create a node and assign a few pointers so it's an order n order one operation now let's look at this in a code briefly so first thing we need to define is the structure of node because node is the building block of linked list so I will write the code in C++ so first thing is data and the next is pointer to node itself we call it next pointer so the node contains data and another node pointer because linked list is nothing but a list of nodes so first node stores pointer of another node and that in turn will contain pointer of another node which we call next so now we need a way to create node we will define a constructor and by default keep its next pointer to null pointer and next let's define the destructor 
so if next pointer is there then delete next and set next to now we need to define insertion operation so first thing we need to have is a reference to head so if we have head then we can start inserting node into that list so we have head and initially no data is there so head is pointing to nil then we define insert operations I will call it insert node So first step was to create a node. So node star node is equal to new node data. So now we have this node. Next we have to uh, make its next point to head and then head point to this newly created node so head is updated to this node that was inserted in the beginning now let's insert some data into it uh, let's insert 1 then insert 2 then insert 3 so what should be the current state of linked list so first I inserted 1 so after inserting 1 head is pointing here to 1 and 1 is pointing to null next I inserted 2 in the beginning so next of 2 is 1 and head is updated to 2 similarly 3 so this should be the state of the linked list so let's verify that by printing those so we have three nodes so head will be there its next will be there and its next next will be there if I do next 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 again we will reach to a null node so let's print this and we get 3 2 1 as expected so in this video we saw uh, the operation of inserting a new node into the linked list in the further sections we will see uh, some more operations that we can perform on the linked list. Thanks for watching.